Hello, in this video we're going to look at the efficient level of effort. We're going to have two cases, self-employed and then a partnership. Starting with self-employed, a self-employed dog trainer's quantity of training lessons is given by the following. So Q is a quantity of lessons equals E divided by 10 plus U. U is a random variable with a mean zero. Some dogs might be easier to train, some much harder. But again, on average, U has a mean or average of zero. E represents units of effort to train a dog. Training a dog requires physical and mental effort that has a daily cost given by the following equation. So providing effort is costly, has a cost given by this equation. The price per training session is $100. What is the efficient amount of effort? So first we're going to solve for the marginal product of effort. We're going to take the derivative of this production function with respect to effort, and we get back one-tenth. And then we're going to solve for the value of the marginal product, which is the price, $100 times marginal product, or $10. And then we take our cost equation, and we're going to get the marginal cost of effort. We're going to take the derivative of the cost equation with respect to E, effort, and we get back 2 plus E divided by 10. The efficient level of effort will occur where the value of the marginal product of effort equals the marginal cost of effort. So setting those two equations equal and solving for E effort, the efficient level of effort here is 80. And at 80 units of effort, this person will train on average 8 dogs a day. All right, uh, case two, we're going to look at a partnership. A dog trainer partnership is formed that splits the profits 50-50. The production function becomes now as follows. E subscript one is trainer one's effort. E subscript two is trainer two's effort. How much effort does trainer one supply? Because of the 50-50 profit sharing, trainer one gets to keep only 50% of the value of his marginal product. So 0.5 times the value of the marginal product uh, with with self-employment, the value of the marginal product was 10, so half of that, it's now only 5. So setting the new value of the marginal product equal to marginal cost, and solving, trainer 1 will provide only 30 units of effort, and for trainer 2, uh, it's going to be exactly the same. Trainer 2 will have the same value of the marginal product, same marginal cost, so Trainer 2 will provide only 30 units of effort. So the partners shirk, each producing less than the efficient level of effort. They pay the full cost of their effort, but only receive half the reward to their effort. And we saw that given that the value of the marginal product now is only one half for each trainer. All right, I will stop here.